Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys five different methods of cropping your images inside of GIMP 2.10. So first off, the simplest way to crop your image is going to be to use the crop tool over here. You can kind of see it by two right angle brackets, kind of nestled on top of each other in the second row of the tools. So with this selection, all you really need to do is draw a top left to bottom right square of your image where you're going to want to crop. So to use the crop tool, all you need to do is, so in order to use the crop tool, all you need to do is to left click somewhere on your image and drag a rectangle around the area that you want to keep in the final image. So if I let go right here, it's going to show the area which is going to remain after the crop inside this area. And then on the outside, kind of darkened a bit, is gonna be everything cut outside of the image. Once you've set this initial box, you can still left click on the corners or the sides and resize the crop. And you can also do that manually over in tool options, changing the actual numbers directly. Uh, but when you're done, all you need to do is hit enter. And that's going to crop your image, removing everything beyond it instantly. And so using that method, you would be done. So the second method, which is very similar, would be to do a rectangle select tool. And then you select the area that you might want to crop out. So if we make that selection there, you can see everything that will remain in the final crop. And then we go to image, crop to selection, and everything that was on the right or below that crop selection is now gone. Another option here is crop to content. In order to demonstrate crop to content though, our actual document, the canvas, will need to be bigger than the image inside of it. So let's just increase the canvas size by a little bit just to show off. I will make the canvas 5,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels and go ahead and resize here. So now you can see that our canvas has extra space where the image doesn't touch whatsoever. So what we can do in order to cut away this extra space is to go up to image and then do crop to content. This will resize the canvas automatically so that it fits to the size of the content itself. That can be pretty useful if you already went ahead and did something like cut away the bottom or cut away the top. And then you want to resize the canvas to this actual size. So probably an option that might confuse a couple people initially is zealous crop. It says it auto crops unused space from the edges in the middle. So it's very similar to crop to content with the exception that if you do something like take a part of the middle out, that what it will do is it detects nothing here. So it'll crop out this middle section and fuse the top with the bottom like so. So keep an eye on this middle section here as it crops. And as you can see, there's now this seam where the two parts of the image have been stitched together right on top of each other and the middle section has been cut out completely. So with these first four methods of cropping, we've been using the image as a whole as our main cropping target. But you might run into the situation where you want to crop a layer instead. So let's say we create a new layer here. And just to demo a bit, I'm going to draw on this layer with the brush. So we have this sewing pattern going around the center of the screen. Maybe I'll make the shape a little bit more wild. And we have that there. So we can hide this original image just to make it a little bit easier to see. And we might even add in a black background. So there we go. We should be able to very easily see this layer now. So the layer itself is currently, as you can see by hitting control all, set to be the same size as the canvas. But if you start using tools like scale, that might be a little bit confusing because you're scaling the layer, not what's actually contained within the layer. So when you make the layer like 5,000 pixels, it's not actually making the shape that's contained within that layer 5,000 pixels, but the layer itself. So to get it to be a bit more accurate, we can trim away some of the edges of that layer. So to do that, we go up to the layer menu instead and we can do crop to selection and crop to content. So crop to selection in the same way as before will be whatever we have currently selected. So if we did crop to selection right now, it wouldn't change anything. So crop to selection, oh look, the layer is still the same size because that's our current selection. But if we did something like this, making a new selection and then crop to that, hit enter. And now you can see that the layer has been resized. But an even easier way of doing that same result is going to be crop to content with the layer selected. So with crop to content activated, you can see that the layer 
resizes completely around our shape to the nearest pixel, which is really good if we want to be able to scale it with accurate sizes. So as I was mentioning before, now we can scale it up and we can see what the actual width and height of this shape contained inside the layer is. So that's five different methods of cropping inside of GIMP. I've been Chris. I hope this tutorial has helped you guys out a little bit and I'll see you guys in my future video content.